Hello viewers, in this tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to connect Microsoft Power BI with an Excel spreadsheet to create a simple analytical report. So how you can connect to an Excel spreadsheet from Microsoft Power BI to pull the data to create a simple analytical report. Without delaying, let's first start with downloading the Microsoft Power BI desktop version, which is a free to learn software. Currently, it is available only for Windows platform, so we are going to install it in our Windows PC. To download the software, first we will search for the Power BI desktop in Google search and we will go to this Microsoft Power BI desktop download site from www.microsoft.com. Let's open it and then we need to select the language which is obviously going to be English for us and there are a couple of details available which you can take a look into like what is the version of the Power BI desktop that we are going to download, how much space is required for the installer, what version of the installer available and a couple of other requirements like your Windows version, it supports up to Windows 8.1, Windows Server 2016 etc. Quite a few backward compatibilities there and the installation instructions so we don't need to go into detail into that just click on the download button here and then we have the option to download the 32-bit and 64-bit version of the power bi installer and obviously it's going to be 64-bit most of the pcs or desktop or your laptops are 64-bit these days so we'll select the 64-bit and click next and then it will start downloading the software which is around 460 mb and it's taking around a couple of seconds and it is done now i'll click on the installer to start the installation let's minimize this window yeah and we have the setup program the language is english click next click yes for the permission let it complete the computation of the space requirements click on the next button and accept the terms of the license agreement click next and we are okay with the part selected for installation c colon program files microsoft power bi desktop We'll click next and create a desktop shortcut we'll select this option and then the installation will start now the installation is completed and we'll click finish the launch microsoft power bi desktop is checked on so it will be started automatically after we close the installer and there we go we have a shortcut created in the desktop and the power bi application console looks like this we will close all these splash screens because we'll get everything we need to learn through the menu items and now we are ready to connect to our excel spreadsheet pull the data and create our first analytical report before i connect to my sample workbook named data.xls from this power bi console let me show you what it actually has inside it's a very simple workbook with just one sheet named employee and that has some employee data and I'm keeping it inside the downloads folder and this data.xls will just double click and open it and this department first name plus name salary these four are the columns it has and some employee information let's close it and then to connect to the Excel we will go to this Excel workbook button we can press this button or also we can get the same option under this get data menu item and under that the first item is the excel workbook so we will first click on this excel workbook and then select the data file and then click on the open button it takes a couple of seconds to connect to the file now we see that it has opened the file and it is displaying only the worksheet that we have with the name employee in the left hand pan please note that if the file or the workbook has multiple worksheets they will be displayed in the left pan select this checkbox next to the worksheet employee and this will display the data that it has in the right pan and we see this department first name last name salary these four columns are getting displayed here now click on the load button it takes a couple of seconds to load the data based on the volume of the data of course and the data has been loaded at this stage let's first save our power bi report by clicking on the save button at the top left corner 
I will simply give it a name as Power BI Excel and it saves the file with an extension PBIX and it's a portable format you can copy this PBIX file to another machine and open it under another Power BI installation and we will save it now the data from the Excel is loaded to this Power BI report and you can see this employee table at the data pane at this stage you can rename this table to anything you like and it can even accept space in between say I will put something like my schema space employee and press enter you don't have to rename it actually I'm just showing that it can be renamed now if you want to see what data it has loaded you can go to the bar at the extreme left side where it has three buttons the first one report view the second one data view and the third one model view you can click on this data view it will show us the information or the data available and this gives us the model view of the data right now there is nothing to model because there is just one relation or table we can see or you can say it's an entity and that has the employee information we will not go deeper into the modeling part here now we'll go back to our report view that is nothing but the canvas where we are going to design our report so in the right hand side you will see a lot of visualizations available and from that we will first select the most simplest the table view and once you click there the table visual will be automatically available in your canvas and then we will select our fields from this table which is available with our employee data first we will select the department you can drag and drop here or you can click on this checkbox here which will automatically add that to this report and we can see that the department information is available then we will add the first name and we see the first names are available then the last name and finally the salary and we will make this a little bigger and that's our first tabular view of the data next we are going to add a pie chart to show us the sum of salaries grouped by each of these departments to find out which department is actually paying the maximum salary to their employees so we will click on this pie chart and and if you see that immediately our table view has changed to a pie chart in fact it was a mistake and when one of the visual is already selected if you click on any of the other visuals here your original visual will change the type to that particular type which you have just selected so don't do that I will just undo it and we go back to our table view click outside of this table so that we can add a new visual so this pie chart is available and here we will add our information because we want to see the sum of the salary group by each of the departments so first our legend will be added here as department and the values will be salary by default power bi is going to sum up all the salaries in each of the department and if we increase the size we can see that which slice has the biggest size and it is the IT which is paying the maximum salary as 38,500 next we are going to add a filter a filter is nothing but say if you want to see the information related to accounts department or say IT department that way you can select only the relevant data and to do that again we will click outside of any of these visuals like in the canvas then we will add this slicer here and it adds one slicer and this is going to work as our filter so what we want to filter here is the department so select the department here and the departments information are available and now you can see that say if we want to select the data only from accounts department select the accounts and you can see that the employees now displayed there are only belonging to the accounts department and also this pie chart has changed to a complete circle which is showing us information only related to accounts department now if you want to select another department along with accounts you have to select using control then click on the other one and we see that the accounts and admin both are selected and now we can see 
the relevant information and also the pie chart has changed to two slices now now we'll make some room for another visual we'll take it to the rightmost and put the filter at the top left corner and then will also increase the size of this pie chart now I'm going to add another graphical visual here which will tell us the employees which are getting the maximum salary or they are shown they will be shown in an order of their salary we are going to add this ribbon chart click on that and it has added one ribbon chart there let's increase the size and in the x axis we will put the last name and in the y axis we are going to put the sum of salary let's see what it's going to give us and we see that now the salaries are ordered in the descending order and we can see that the person with the last name case is getting the maximum salary and the one with the last name Damon has the second highest salary from these two departments. Now let's unselect when nothing is selected in the filter by default it is selecting all of them. So now we can see that the person with the last name Lopez has the maximum salary of 20,500 but this is incorrect information. Why? Because you see there are actually two persons with the name Lopez in their last name and it is showing the sum of the salary but we don't want that and actually we want a single employee to be shown in each of these ribbons and to do that what we are going to do we are going to add one column here and which is going to be actually a calculated column and the reason why we are going to do that is we have the first name and last name as two different fields in our table and because of that two persons with the last name Lopez are actually considered to sum up their salaries here and we don't want that so to add a column what we are going to do we will click on these three dots here and we will select this new column and that will give us the option to create the new column here and we will change the name to say full name that equals to our first name select this if you type in the first few letters power bi is automatically going to suggest you the relevant fields and then then one double quote space another double quote to and close the space in between then another ampersand and here we are going to add the last name so this is our field from employees table we will select it and we have to change the data type here to text press enter and we see that the full name field is added there and this is a calculated field or column and it was not there in the original data model now what we are going to do in this ribbon chart we are going to simply replace our last name with the full name here and that is going to solve our problem now we can see that the person with the name Nicholas Case has the highest salary and the second highest is the Bruce Lee, third highest is the Chris Lopez etc etc. Now to make it more relevant we are going to add some more information here. For example each of this ribbon will have their relevant value at the top. How we are going to do that? We selected our ribbon chart, go to this format your visual, then click on the this data levels option and we turned it on and we can see that the values are coming but it is in the middle and we can change it if we want first of all your position will be there are a couple of options there inside in inside center inside base so we can put it like inside end and that brings it to the top of the ribbon and now we can put some conditional formatting something like if the salary is more than 10,000 then that will be represented as an orange color and if it is between 8,000 to 10,000 that will be in a green color and below 8,000 suppose it's in blue color 
so how to do that to do that we will go to this ribbons options under the visuals and here if you see there is a conditional formatting next to the default color so that conditional formatting will give us the options to set the color as per their values so we'll click on this fx and we will select the options like formatting style will be rules and the sum of the salary don't worry even if it is sum of the salary but it's within the individual employee so it's not going to change the value now if the value is greater than equal to zero number and less than say 8000 number then it is going to be represented with blue color then add a new rule next if the value is greater than or equal to 8000 number and less than 10,000 number then it will be represented in a green color to select the green color which is not available in the default screen we will click on these more colors and we will drag this slider then we'll click on this green color area and then click outside and it will take the green color now add a new rule and this will be say if the value is greater than or equal to 10,000 number less than we will simply delete this zero there and that will take a maximum value which don't we don't have to define and then say it will be represented with an orange color so drag this slider click on this orange area click outside and it is selected and we can see that the color has changed and now simply looking at the ribbons we can say that there are five employees or six employees getting more than ten thousand dollars in salary per month and four employees between eight to ten and two employees below eight thousand and to make the report a little more nicer we will change the background let's collect just click on any empty area and then go to the format your report page this option click on the canvas background and we will make it black and the transparency will be zero now we can see the visuals are more distinctly displayed and if we want to change the title of this ribbon chart we can do that by simply selecting it then go to this general tab click on the title to get the title options and we'll simply put employee by salary and also we can add a title or header to this entire report here simply click on this text box here that will bring a text box to the canvas and we will take it to the top increase the width reduce the height and then go to its properties and we will turn on the title and put a title like say employee salary data and then we will change the font to say something better our text color will be white background color will be no fill and then we'll go to another option that is the effects and we will make it 100 percent transparent and then also we need to align the header in centers and also increase the size a little and that completes our analytical report now if you want to publish this report in your enterprise level you can do so by clicking in this publish button but in the desktop version of this software this publishing option is not available it has to be professional license for this software to publish your work at your organization level but for learning purpose this software is free so I would say learn this software as much as you can and build your career in the field of data analytics. I have a full series on Power BI and Oracle about how to create simple to advanced level analytical reports. And if you want to learn advanced level Power BI reports and dashboards, I suggest you watch that series for which I have given the link in the description of this video below. Again, it doesn't matter which database you are pulling the data from. It may be an Oracle database, Postgres database, MySQL or an Excel spreadsheet. All that matter is that how you present the data in your analytical report.